Hey there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. Riviera Resort at Disney World. That's where we're at right now. We're going to check out the room here. We've got a one bedroom, but it can be a two bedroom lockout, correct? Right. So you can actually pay cash for these rooms. Right. It is probably one of the most expensive locations on property. Yeah. Um, it is a new build from ground up for a Disney Vacation Club, but because they still have points to sell, there is cash rooms. Yeah, until they until they get the hotel completely sold out, which it's not yet, as far as points are concerned, then you can probably still pay cash. This is actually a two bedroom lockout. So right, right now we're only in the one bedroom part. We don't have the second bedroom. So we're gonna show you the right. one bedroom so side. So this is the lockout portion that goes to a studio on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then you have, first when you come in this mirror. On both sides actually, there's one on both sides. It's, it's, it's matching. Right. Um, and you walk right into the kitchen area. And we're going to come back to the kitchen here in a second, but we want to head back to the living room first. Um, and one of the cool things about this is how many people it sleeps even in a one bedroom. You can sleep five. Mm -hmm. It's a five sleeper. There's very few one bedrooms that sleeps five, and this is one of it. So first of all, you've got a pull out here, but it's not really a pull out. Because what happens is it's actually a, a, a kind of a Murphy bed. I can't pull, I'm not going to pull it out all the way because I've got the end table there. But you have Peter Pan in there. And they have shelves at the side. And this one does have the USBs on the side. Mm -hmm. now, when you thought on the last video we did a Boulder Ridge Villas, they had USBs. This one does. Yep. So, and that, that, that'll, that's a queen size, so that'll sleep two there easily. But you also have on the other side a single bed pull out. Another Murphy bed here underneath the television. This also will pull out into another bed. And there is Mickey and Pluto. So five people. So two there, two there, and then two in the master. But you've got here, you've got two side chairs. You've got uh, um, a coffee table. You've got an ottoman, a couple of side tables. There um, is um, extra seating in mm -hmm. those corners. Yeah. So the other... Disney Vacation Club Resorts that has a Murphy bed is usually just the center. Riviera is one of the few with the extra end pieces. So you can actually probably sit four or five people on this table, right. on this uh, couch rather, comfortably watching a, a large TV. And this is one of the things that I really get a kick out of is when the TVs go large enough for actually the rooms now. So I think this is storage. Let me see. Yep, yep you're this right, is it storage. is. So this is a storage unit. And it is on wheels, so it does roll. And then is this more storage? I think this is storage too. Yep, it yep. is. So there's plenty of storage here. And let's pop that down. There okay. we go. And then let's go into the master bedroom. So as we wander into the master bedroom, uh, I wanted the lampshade this crooked. I'll fix that here or in a second. Or primary bedroom, as yeah. everybody's saying. Uh, nice. I love the artwork in this place. I really do in the hallways and in the rooms. I love the artwork. Uh, you've got a king size bed and again enough room under the bed for your luggage. And that's what everybody's going to is under the bed storage for luggage, which is actually a great idea. It's wasted space. Why not use it? Do watch your legs on the edges. Oh, yes. Because those are slightly sharp. And it sticks out just enough to be able to yeah. catch your shins. And this headboard, look at the detailing. Look at that hidden Mickey in the corner. Gorgeous detailing in this. I love the artwork. You've also got uh, an end table on one side and a desk on the other side. Um, you've got a side chair to sit in for comfortably uh, if you want to like read or things like that. And let's see, does this drawer pull out? Oh yes, it does. There's the Bible in it. Is there USBs on that side? There is. Oh, it's in the wall. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There's a USB in the walls. No okay. USB-C, but USB. And if you come over to this side, you got the same thing, USBs Ooh, in the I just, walls. I, I just know my name. Sorry. I told you to watch out for that. <laughs> Perfect example right there. Um, you've got a mirror here. You've got the uh, desk that you can sit at and work. Um, and again, USBs in the electrical outlet. So let's see what's in the closet. And does this drawer pull out? Let's see. Yeah, the drawer pulls out. Okay. okay. Yeah. And a phone that nobody uses. One of the things that we say a lot of times at any of the resorts, not so much at Disney, but at some of the other ones. When you get there, unplug your phone so you don't get calls from people trying to get you. Well, that's enough. I'll, I'll be quiet now. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. You got the uh, 
closet and the light goes on as you open the door and then closes it turns off as you shut it oh i like that not the luggage rack but the shelves in the side there's so many places getting rid of the luggage racks and i don't know why but there's a luggage rack here they also have if you want your dry cleaning done here they'll do that for you and they do have a big tv i like the larger tvs it helps out a lot and then drawer space lots mm -hmm. of drawer space here so you've got drawers, Soft one, two, three, there's nine drawers. Lots of drawer space, so if you're staying here for any length of time, you can unpack your clothes. You're one of those that likes to unpack me. I can live out of a suitcase, but if I'm going to stay for any length of time, then I'll unpack into the drawers. But if I'm only here for a couple of nights. And there is a full length mirror. Hang on. And look at, hold on, we can't do that yet. I'm going to, I'm going to. You know, I, you need to show that. No, you... no, I'm going to, I'm going to, this is going to be a moment here, okay? Wait a minute, hold on. Three, two, one. Oh, it locks two. Ta-da! The bathroom. Oh, look at that light. I had to show you that that way. Um, we've got a soaking tub, which is actually, I like the soaking tub. It's not one of those hot tubs. It's just a soaking tub. Wow. And actually, they, no, it is a hot tub. Look, it's got jets underneath. It's got yes, air jets. air jets. I do like the fact they did put shelves on the back mm -hmm. so things don't fall back there. When I say it's a single sink, it's kind of not because you've got dual sinks in the bathroom. They're just not together. So you've got this sink here in this room, part of the bathroom with drawers. And there's your blow dryer. Oh, that's a nice expensive blow dryer too. Uh, drawers there and underneath storage, uh, more uh, paper, and I'm sorry, uh, toilet paper and Kleenex underneath. Trash can. And I will show you one thing that I do like here. These little shelves on the end. Mm -hmm. So you can put like deodorant, things like that, and not take up the counter space. It's got a mirror, mm -hmm. a lighted mirror, by the way, I should say. And it's got the two, the convex concave mirror there, which is actually kind of cool. Nice mirror. I like the lights. Mm -hmm. The one thing I will tell you, I'm a matchy, matchy person. Mm -hmm. None of the finishes match, and that does bother me. It well, is beautifully done, but... But that is, isn't that the style these days of mixing up finishes? Yes, but it's starting to go out. I so. hope so, because I think you're right. Mixing and matching the different finishes, uh, brass to silver to chrome. Pocket door. And then you come into this bathroom here. This is where the shower is and the toilet and the other sink that I was talking about. Okay, hang on a second. And we have to do the sea shower test. I don't know if this is... Is that too heavy tall enough for you? No, not really. Well, will that adjust? That should be adjustable. That's a, it's this. So it will oh, adjust adjustable. like this. So it does work. Oh, it's dripping too. Oops. So it does work. So there's two. It's a top. Oh, there's a rain shower too. I didn't see that. That's what I wanted to find so out. So it is tall enough for you. Yeah, there is a rain shower. And what is, is there anything back there? Oh, there's yeah, a ledge. A, mm -hmm. Oh, and the soap is over there. Okay, interesting. But then there is... The other pump. The shelf is over there. And of course, your favorite, which is over here, it is the clothesline. Do you know how many I've broken of those? You have not. You just had trouble putting them back. Yeah, true. Um, ADA toilet, single sink, more toilet paper and pa uh, Kleenex underneath. So there you go. There's that. A couple of shelves. Um, where's the extra towels? Normally they have extra right there, there's one, two. Tell me you're out here. There's Probably three, in there. Four, three, this four. should be five. Uh, or four. Yeah, there's four. Yep, there's, there's four. four total. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm sorry, five, six. There's six. Mm -hmm. There's two there. Oh, there's uh, behind here? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And they got the towel hooks on the back there, your bathrobe hooks, I guess. And it's, this should be, one of these should be a washer and dryer. Let's see what this one is first. There it is. Yep. And we did find that laundry basket. Not a Brickstone, but a different brand. We got it at either Costco or Sam's. I can't remember which. Costco. This is actually a full size uh, washer and dryer, uh, stackable. Um, not an apartment size washer and dryer, but it, it does work in here at full size. And then what's in here? And you've got your closet in here. You've got your safe, which is electronic. You've got your extra pillow and blankets there. Oh, they have a steam iron. Interesting. Ooh, that's different. I like that. Uh, ironing board, vacuum cleaner. You know what I like about this? Because a lot of times we'll travel with one of those um, vacuum bags. Space bags. Space bags. This does have the vacuum cleaner where you can actually pull and use the vacuum to, um, to suck the air out of the vacuum bag. So that works out really well. Okay, let's go into oh, the kitchen. 
it is what I, I call almost like, like a galley kitchen mm -hmm. to save on space. They do the kitchen that way. Where do you want to start? Start this here, section? right here. Yep. Um, stove and microwave, and they're very. I mean, the the building's only a couple three years old, so these are newer appliances. Full size microwave up top. They do have the uh, flat top uh, flat top stove rather. Everybody's gotten away from the coil stoves, thankfully. Um, oven. Hey, the baking pans in here, the uh, broiling pans in here. So I wonder if this is empty down here. It is. It's just. Cool. It's supposed to be. That is actually a warming thing. Uh, glassware, a couple of serving plates and bowls. I just tells you what's supposed to be in here. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the um, right, inventory list. Okay. You got some kitchen utensils, including a pizza cutter. Your pots and pans down there, and they are non-stick, just so you know. Let's see, there's nothing up here. I, uh, no, I always like to check because sometimes it feel hide. Square plates. That's interesting. Uh, plates and bowls. Uh, service for eight, by the way. One, two, yeah, service for eight. Mm -hmm. It's because of a connector. Yeah. There's your silverware. And more serving utensils. And this is a, like a colander, mixing bowls, measuring cups. This is underneath the sink is here. Should be paper towels, uh, dishwasher soap, another uh, extra dish, uh, dish towel. This is a pull out. So that works out there. Nothing up here. Oh, no, there is something up here. Baking pan? Baking pan and a serving pan. A serving the, uh, dish, I should say. This, is what this, got. this has got your glassware and your coffee cups. Sugar bowl and creamer. Uh, they've got a sugar bowl and a creamer here, honey. Wow. And you know how long we'd look for a sugar bowl and a creamer? And this is sort of like a small pantry area. Mm -hmm. You've got coffee stuff. Ooh, they do have coffee. Ooh, resort plan. Resort blend, Joffrey's Ooh. coffee. Toaster. So it's a four slice toaster, a, uh -huh. a Cuisinart, and then a Cuisinart coffee maker. Not a not a K cup, but just a Cuisinart. And then a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. And then this is another. Oh, it's That's their trash. trash can. You know what? I don't see. I don't see recycling anywhere. Huh? You gotta be here somewhere. And on the other side, you've got your refrigerator, which has an ice maker in it. Let me turn the ice maker on too, so I can have some ice later. They always. Turn the ice maker off and dump the ice maker. But if you're going into a resort and you're the first one there and there's ice in the ice maker, dump it out and get fresh ice because you don't know how long that ice has been there. And there's a couple of, there's your ice. If you need to go to the ice machine that they have on in, in resort, they've got that and they've got a pitcher. And there is the dining area or the banquette seating. Nice banquette for one, two. They can probably seat eight at this, no problem. Tight eight. Tight eight, but they can it's probably seat eight. eight at no problem. So one of the things that I like about this is they actually have two entrances out onto the patio. This is the one out of the out of the living room area. So let's go outside and check out the uh, the patio and the view. We bought we have a standard view, which is basically whatever they want to give you. Right. We can see Epcot though. Where? Yeah. Oh, see? we can see part of the fireworks. You'll see part of the fireworks. So that big building you see. Straight ahead, that's Guardians of the Galaxy, just so you know. And we're literally at the entrance area. Mm -hmm. So you have seating four, two. Right. This, this is the entrance into the um, master bedroom, by the way. Um, so if you want to come out uh, first thing in the morning when you wake up and sit out here and enjoy the sunshine, enjoy a day, perfect day to do it. So thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you checking it out. As always, this is the uh, Riviera Resort, one bedroom with a lockout, but we're not getting in the lockout. This is just the one bedroom. So thanks for checking it out. Hopefully it helps you out with your decision on what to, where to stay when you come to Disney. Haven't hit the subscribe button below, please do so. Get that bell notification button below too. That'll notify you when our next video goes up. Love for you to hit the like button too. It helps us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Trying to help you make your decision on where to stay when you come to Disney. The Riviera Resort. It's one of the places you want to think about. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.